Let's try to do this properly, please, this time. Ugh. Hey guys, it's Riley, and welcome to my channel on this lovely Thursday. I know I'm a little late on the bandwagon for this video, but I still really, really, really wanted to do it. It's all because I missed that one week on upload. Dang it, dang it, Riley, don't do that. This week's video, I'm going to do my 2016 New Year's resolutions. I used to think that resolutions were really dumb and that if you wanted to change something to just change it, like don't wait, like just change it right now. But I've grown to realize, especially within myself, that the new year kind of seems like a fresh start for me and that being able to say, hey, right now, this is my deadline, this is where I'm gonna start and do this. It seems like a new era. It's more of a deadline saying, hey, I'm gonna start doing this here and because it's a new start, it's a fresh start. And that's what I really like about New Year's. And so this year, I actually came up with a couple resolutions for myself. And I'd like to share them with you guys if you're cool with that. Yeah, let's start. The first resolution that I have is to move out of my parents' house. I'm still in my parents' house now and you guys are thinking, Riley, you're 17, you can't move out. But it's better for me and my entire family if I just leave, but leave with a good standing and leave where I can pay for myself and pay for my own things and I'll be able to drive in February so I won't have that long to wait and it's just a really, really nice way for me to grow up. My next resolution is to get fit. I know a lot of people say that and they're like, oh, I'm gonna get healthy, I'm gonna get buff. My thing is, is I just wanna start taking better care of myself. I want to start eating better and fixing up my sleep schedule and all of the things that are gonna make me feel better as a person. And stemming off of that, one thing that I really want to do is create a self-care routine that works for me. So whether that's waking up in the morning and then going for a jog and then having my coffee and taking a shower, or if it's watching some YouTube before I lay down in bed and write some things in a journal, or do a writing prompt before I sleep. I don't know what's gonna work for me, but that's one thing that I wanna work on this year is to find a self-care routine that works for me. Another thing that I have definitely gotten better at this year but need to improve on more is being more organized with everything. I'm the type of person that has to be organized or I will be a disaster. I will be so distraught and stressed out if I'm not organized, if the things that I'm doing are not planned and organized well, I'll just be so at the end of my rope and it's really irritating for me and the people around me. So with that, one of my goals this year is to become more organized and to do what I can, where I can, to make myself more organized. Whether that be color coding things in my bedroom or planning things and putting them on a calendar, I just need to be more organized. And the last thing I have is to be myself without apologizing. That's something that I've had trouble with in the past is actually being my genuine self without apologizing for it after. I'm allowed to be myself, and I'm allowed to do what I wanna do. And if people are uncomfortable with that, that's not an issue for me. I shouldn't have to apologize for being myself or doing things that make me happy or being happy in general. And that's something that I would like to work on this year is realizing that I can do that and that I don't have to apologize for that. Cause I can say it here to you guys, but I don't think it's sunk in yet, and I just kind of got to work on that as a whole. I know that was short and simple, but that's all I have for this video today, and I really, really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and comment down below what some of your resolutions are. Maybe you can tweet them to me if you want, at the Riley Kyle. I don't know, just let me know. I want to see what some of you guys are doing to better yourselves this year. You can also subscribe to my channel if you want. I post two videos a week, one video on Tuesday, which is part of my hashtag trans education series, which deals with LGBT issues, and then a video on Thursday, which is kind of like this sometimes. Sometimes it's a skit, sometimes it's just random stuff. I mean, you can go back and see what it's been before. That kind of general idea is what it's gonna be. You can also follow me on all my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle. All of my links will be in the description. If you want, you can check out my collab channel to see more of me. I post Wednesdays there. It's called Quite the Collab. The links to that will be in the description as well as all the social media. And that's that. That's all I have right now for you, and I hope that you liked it, and that I guess that means that I will see you next Thursday. 